Today I play the Watcher on Ascension 20. Can I win with four Omniscience or die in Act 4? Let's find out. Let's just do it. Watcher can be a very, very powerful character. With just a couple of card removes, she hits heckin' hard. Uh, ideally, removing defense first so that you can rely on eruption to dish out big damage with wrath stance. Hmm. Not sure if we're going to go here or here. Let's remove two to start. Wish pressure points is more viable. Me too. It's it's really a shame how awful it is. Truly a shame. There it is. Battle him. One of the unmastered uncommons. So this definitely shapes our early pick here. Normally, I think I would take Empty Fist almost every time. But going for Battle Him works just as well. It's also a damage source, creating one smite each turn. And the smites retain. We'll hopefully wait until we get into Wrath Stance before we have to dish out damage with them. I like it. I like it. Big damage. Hopefully we don't get attacked next turn. Good. And this does 24 in Wrath. The Big Black. Cut Through Fate's another very, very good early game attack. Honestly, it's a very good all game attack. It's damage and draw plus scry, which makes it both an immediately useful attack card as well as a long term deck sifting card, allowing us to find what we want most in the draw pile. Very useful. Get him, battle him. Squished. Get a fairy in a bottle, allowing us to take more risks. And a Meditate Protector Flying Sleeves. All of these have Retain on them. Meditate gets something out of the discard pile and puts us into Calm. Very useful. One of my favorite early game stance control cards. Actually, mid to late game stance control cards. Protect is just nice block. Flying Sleeves patiently waiting in our hand until we get double damage. But that's what the Smites are for. Give me Meditate. Red Panda Rising. Thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Koozie Sub Club. Indeed, Battle Hymn's really only problem is the fact that it doesn't do anything the turn you play it. A classic issue for cards. Bummer, they both attack me. Hmm. Well, that's not very good. Let's see. Fire Eruption, Strike, Cut Through Fate. No, we can't get them both. That is indeed a bummer. We can never kill them both. Just getting one is worth it, not when killing one of them means taking double damage from the other one by being in Wrath Stance. It's the same damage taken either way. We might as well just defend, defend, battle him. Now we can get them both. Pretty good potion, Blessing of the Forge. And I don't mind follow-up or third eye here. 
Actually, Prostrate's really good too. Prostrate is one of my favorite first mantra cards. Mantra, you have to build up to 10 mantra, then you enter divinity stance, gaining a burst of energy and triple damage. I like a mantra when you have retaining damage cards, and the battle hymn does fill that role quite nicely. I would encourage upgrades a bit more. Okay, let's do it. Let's go prostrate here. Go this way. Hiya! Bip boop bang. Get wrecked, sir. Double prostrate. Here we go. Now we're talking. I guess we upgrade Eruption first, but honestly, there's a lot of good upgrades here. What do we need to make me consider taking a Master of Reality? Genuine, uh, for the most part, Dead Branch is about the only thing that makes it worth it. Oh dear. That looks like a pretty good Forge Potion. Find me Eruption, please. There it is. Thank you. All the damage. Look at that. And then no attacks whatsoever in the draw pile. You'll love to see it. Question mark. Hmm. Do you love to see it, though? Oh, thank goodness those are upgraded. That was almost pretty bad. Still dead inside. Thanks for the full year. Heck yeah. Do I like defend more or less based on our def uh, deflect? Uh, not deflect. Do I like prostrate more or less with less defense? Yes. Being a zero cost block is useful for prostrate. It's not the primary function. It gets better with fasting or if you have um, duality, but mostly it's about the mantra here. Ooh, hello. Second cut through fates, arguably the better pick, but I'm going Spirit Shield as an unmastered rare card. We definitely want to pick up the first copy we see. And Neuromania, thanks for 28 months. Thank you, thank you. Strike dummy. Strikes do three more damage. Excellent. Excellent, Mr. Smithers. Turn one battle him, heck yeah. Hmm. Eruption Vigilance, of course, of course. Double stirp that. Here we go. The hands is okay. Three blows is okay. Neither are particularly inspiring. Honestly, with a strike dummy, we've already got the most powerful attacks that we're going to need. We can just focus on getting into Divinity Stance here. With a prostrate upgrade. If we're particularly lucky, we can now enter Divinity by as soon as turn two. Which is going to make Hexaghost very upset. Lagavulin is also going to be very upset. Not quite. Oh, yes, quite. Perfect. Prepare to die. So upon reaching 10 Mantra, we are divine. We get triple damage and a big spike of energy. 
means we can go boop, 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 bop. And that egg is no more. Meat is here, dupe pot is here, omniscience is here to let us duplicate a card in the draw pile. Omniscience very, very strong with various powers and quite a few other things besides. Welcome. Dupe pot's fun with omniscience also. A curse for money? No way. You can be disappointed all you like. Guess we'll upgrade the omniscience, although that's not the best upgrade all that much at the moment. It's okay, but eh. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. No. Perfection. Yoink. This is where the Meditate comes in really useful with Prostrates. You can use the Meditate to return the Prostrates to do tremendous damage. Just way more damage than you've got any right to do. Boom, 162 damage. The power. Just like that, the ghost is gone. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. We also get offered a second Omniscience. One Omniscience, good. Two Omniscience, way better. With two Omniscience, you can use one to duplicate the other, which lets you duplicate two cards in the draw pile for the same price as casting one Omniscience. Lesson learned could let us upgrade cards in the deck. That can also be quite strong. This deck does not want a Master Reality. Sure, it upgrades the Smites, but that alone is not enough to justify a power, a, a draw, and an energy on it. Give me double Omniscience. If we Omni Omni, we can double Prostrate Prostrate and enter Divinity instantly. That's 10 Mantra. That's pretty good. When we exit Calm, gain additional energy, says Violet Lotus. That's pretty good. Removing even more cards from this deck is also quite appealing here. Get rid of the last two defends. And then we basically just have Omnisciences, Prostrates, and Attack cards. That's pretty strong. I tend to find in this sort of deck less need for energy relics because the deck is capable of making its own energy from the cards it has. Let's go empty cage here. Yeah, this deck really wants a Ragnarok now. Ragnarok our foes with that. If I'm willing to fight without upgrades, we could potentially take on three elites here. Admittedly, I'm kind of down for that. With the meat on the bone, we'll sustain ourselves just fine. My least chosen boss relic? Yeah, probably Busted Crown or Velvet Choker or Ectoplasm or Sozu. I think those are my, my least favorite handful of boss relics. Tiny House and Market Pain are pretty down there as well. Definitely. Yeah, we had a shop here. We'll go to one of those two. We'll have tons of cash. It's fine. Excellent. So what's the play here? Omni, Omni, dupe two things. Is it enough? I don't think so. Just do Spirit Shield, Prostrate, Meditate. That's pretty good. If I use the Dupe Potion, maybe we can kill. We could do... 
27 plus... It would be 18 times 4. Twenty-seven plus seventy-two. Yeah, I can instantly kill with uh, dupe pot, but it feels unnecessary when I'm taking so little damage anyway. Currently taking two. Two is fine. Definitely don't want that to be my hand next turn. That's terrible. That'll work. Oh, but I failed at math. Uh, this is good, though, because we can now omniscience. So, omni, omni, double prostrate, double strike. Got him. Ray is more mantra. Yeah, let's do it. I don't really like Prey until you already have a good source of mantra. On its as your first mantra card, Prey is not very good. Because three or upgraded four is just not a number that works out very well for getting you into into divinity on its own. But with other cards that give mantra, it can be much better. Got meat on the bone. I'm not gonna bother with this regen potion. I am going to bother with the Ritual Dagger. A, this is an exceedingly early Ritual Dagger, so we might be able to level it up a whole lot. Um, and B, it's an unmastered event card, so we definitely want to pick it up at every opportunity here. You chant too. Why not? And I'll buy your relic, friend. What do you got? A Blood Vial? Sure. Heal two. Beginning of every combat. I like it. So let's go Omni, Omni, Prostrate, Prey? Sure. Divinity. Shoot. Well, that's a good use of the dupe pot, huh? Get the kill? I'm doing it. Spring Fury is whatever. I do think we want maybe one more attack, and Bowling Bash looks like a really good one. Grab a Bowling Bash. Does it scale on the dagger dupe? Yes. Yes, either either instance of the dagger killing in that instance would have given the power up. Same with omniscience. Either killing will work. So it's only weird with dual wield. Yes, for the most part. Nightmare will also make copies that won't scale it. Battle him, strike, meditate? Hmm. Could do Omni Omni Eruption Cut Through Fate, maybe. But then I can't meditate. This needs to be upgraded. So does the dagger, actually. Maybe I upgrade dagger here. Do this. Would I take or skip bites with this build? Strike Dummy says don't take him, but Blood Vial says do take him. It's actually a pretty tough choice at the moment. Nightmare does not delete the original like Dual Wheel does. Kind of odd. Just how it works, though. I think we're just going to do this. Sneko can absolutely mess this deck up. Yeah, exactly. Shoot. Oh boy.
Math time. We've got 24, 31, 49 times 2. Damn it. We do 98 plus 9. 107 damage. We're 5 damage short here. That sucks. I'd have to eruption before even thinking about playing Insight. Ugh. There's nothing the Insight can draw that would actually change things if I play it first. Bummer. I think we just do this. So we can Omni Omni. Uh, Omni Omni Dagger Dagger just kills, right? It sure does. So note that Dagger... Wait, that didn't scale it. Oh, interesting. I thought that would. So does it have to be the first Dagger hit with Omniscience? Apparently that doesn't work the way I thought it did. So it's the same as Dupe Pot. No, no, it'd be too easy if the game was consistent in that way. It's of course completely different from Dupe Pot because... Screw you, I guess. Classic Spire. Classic Spire. I'd like to take a little damage here. Not too much, though. Looks like this is probably going to be Omni Omni Spirit Shield. Could meditate. Actually, that's pretty reasonable. Because then we set up for nonsense, right? Yeah, okay. Deal. Uh, hmm. No, it'll still be fine, right? Yeah. One is half health. Prostrate will block for the exact right amount, more or less. So we can take... Yeah, take 7, heal 12. Ooh, Consecrate Plus is pretty good. Empty Mind's not terrible. I want the AoE card. Alright, Elite. What do you got? Book of Stabbing, they say. Let's see about that.
Ouch. Three damage would be perfect. Spirit Shield Prostrate takes five, not three. Still good, though. And then we can meditate. Spirit Shield Prostrate Meditate sets us up more or less perfectly here for some serious shenanigans. Perfect. Nice dagger. Boop. Bottled flame. Upon pickup, choose an attack in our hand to start with at the beginning of every fight. Don't mind if I do bottle that Ritual Dagger. Bottled Ritual Dagger can be all sorts of hot nonsense, especially if we can also get Omniscience turn one. Sure. Sometimes it'll just kill things turn one also, and that's also pretty good. I love it. I also love Ink Bottle and Bag of Prep, two very good cards to help us draw more cards to help us get into Divinity faster. Sometimes we'll have a bit of an awkward situation, like so, where I can't quite kill turn one, or really achieve anything else of importance either. Bummer. Because our damage here is 18 plus 28, which is 46. If only we had a letter opener. Oh well, that's fine. Get back both prostrates, of course. Yeah, if only we were the three damage that we missed out on, huh? That's a bit of a bummer. But that's okay. Omni. Omni. Double cut through fate, double insight. Let's go with. Easy. Omniscience. Choose a card in your draw pile. Play it twice and exhaust it. Okay. Purple Fire Spirits. Ask of to us to give up a card. Could give up an Omniscience to gain a lot of max health here. Um, or I can give up Ray for a full heal. I don't need that, though. We can just give up a starter card. That's fine. Get rid of a strike. Event then combat, combat then event, combat then event. Hello! <laughs> Goodbye. So we go Omni targeting Omni targeting Omni. Double Vigilance, Double Eruption, Double Prostrate. We need the energy from going into Calm and leaving Calm to play the Prey. So Omni targets Omni, targets Omni. Vigilance, Eruption, Prostrate. Got him. Empty body with a plus. It's not too bad. Sure. Hello. 
Same shenanigans, right? Um, now we just go Omni, Omni, Prostrate, Prostrate. Double Consecrate would do, what, 48 to all? 8 times 6? Pretty absurd. Actually, no, it'd be nine times six. Fifty-four. That's still good. You love to see it. Nirvana Plus gives us block upon scrying. We don't actually have a lot of scry, but we could change that. Powers are very good in a deck that has all these omnisciences, because they're a very good duplication target. And it's already upgraded for free. So I think we're going to take it here. And we're going to pick up several other cards that say scry on them. More cut through fates, third eyes, you name it. Bandage up is kind of a hilarious omniscience target. Clockwork Souvenir, always welcome. Blocks vulnerable against hearts. No Dolly's Mirror here. That is the big thing we're looking for, the ability to duplicate the dagger. Let's just go Souvenir, remove a strike. Although the strikes are kind of important, question mark? Who needs them? Who even needs them? Hmm. These Omni upgrades are kind of weak, but still useful. Could upgrade the cards themselves. The Prey, the Prostrate. Upgrade Prey. And once again, the power. Doing the Omniscience Chain turn one here means not being able to use those mantra cards again, though. Everything we target will be exhausted. Hmm. I don't think we can kill turn one. Ritual Dagger is only going to do 132 damage. I don't see us being able to do enough otherwise. So maybe we don't even Omniscience here. Let's just get the other powers down. Yeah, let's just do that. Tate Omniscience, question mark? Pretty funny. Spirit Shield seems like it might be important. Let's get Spirit Shield and Prostrate. Okay, some half-decent Omni targets here. Better than that, actually. Perfect. We established Omni Dagger doesn't work the way we want it to for some reason. Such a bummer. do some hot nonsense, though. 
do Vigilance, Miracle, Omni, targeting Omni, targeting Prey, targeting Bowling Bash. Oh, that's a hit. Got him. Where's that dagger? Right there. Get destroyed. Well, that's a bingo, as they say. Strike! Ooh, Devotion versus Ragnarok. That's a tough call. I think this deck, with the Omniscience, is, no, this deck wants Ragnarok. Over a Devotion here. It's just bingo. It's just bingo. Definitely would like Coffee Dripper as a way to gain energy with uh, meat on the bone. The other two options are just fine, but I think the Dripper's the best. Gimme. Give, Give it to me here. Hmm. Need to have enough money to actually purchase the Ritual Dagger Duplication, if you want this to work. This is our best bet. Hundred and seventy-three gold to guarantee it's a possibility. Okay. Hmm. Eruption Consecrate Ragnarok might work here. Let's hope it does. Did not. Wheel kick's pretty good in this deck. Damage and draw. Things we're lacking currently. We actually would like a couple more attack cards. Does Dolly's Mirror duplicate upgrades? It sure does. That's a really good card. Transform a card. Sure, I'll transform Strike into... Probably not a Ritual Dagger, but... Maybe a Spirit Shield? <laughs> Or that, I guess. Or that. We get another omniscience, because of course we do. Of course we do. What else would we get, really? I mean, come on. <laughs> now we can do omni, 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 omni. We need an alpha at this point. The deck wants an alpha now. Going up says, if you save and quit there, you get the same card. Yes, I think as long as you transform the same card, you get the same card. The animation kind of looks like a roulette wheel that's spinning, but the timing of, of your click does not matter at all. It's just an illusion. It's all fake. So let's do omniscience, targeting omniscience, targeting omniscience, targeting omniscience. Obviously. Double this, double this, double this, double, I guess, wheel kick too. Amazing. Mental Fortress. When we get stance change, we get block. Very strong. This is a good way to block the heart. Welcome. 
Omnilicious. Well, at least it wasn't Dolly's Mirror. There's the second battle hymn, though. All right, deal. Done deal. Speed potion's kind of strong. Nine hundred and ninety nine gold, you say? Yes. How do we skip shop? Not with a thousand gold. Oh. <laughs> That's why you do it. That's why you freaking do it, Twitch chat. Dolly's Mirror, the ritual dagger. It's here. <clears throat> amazing. Absolutely amazing. We have the double dagger. We just have to win. With one normality in the deck. <laughs> Glorious. I'll take a scrawl. I'll take trip? Question mark? Trip does seem kind of good. Yeah, it does. Secret technique is also pretty good. Pantograph is also pretty good. Does it double the bottled flame? No. We have two different ritual daggers that will scale separately from one another. We could transform the curse with a Momori, sure, but I don't see any transforms happening in the near future. So probably not. Can we omniscience the normality to get rid of it? Yes, we could. That is an option. In a pinch. I'm gonna buy this pantograph and the secret tech. Um, will I have enough money for a remove? 125. Yeah, we'll be fine. Cool. Transient's pretty hard to kill with Ritual Dagger, though. Just gonna put that out there. Although, hold on. Keeping four cards, right? That's how that's how it goes. Double prey, double prostrate, double trip. It's not enough. Although, how much would this be as the last dupe? This will be at four and a half times damage multiplication, so it's fifty-nine times. Four and a half times three. The so 265 times three. Not quite a kill. That's pretty close, though. That's pretty absurd. The ink bottle will draw the normality. That'd be a hilarious way to stop the turn. Cut through fate could help, but I don't think it gets us the kill. That is a pretty absurd turn one, though. Yeah, we just Omni their normality. That's a pretty reasonable choice, too. Do some fun things like uh, scroll. Double trip, double wheel kick. 
double battle him. here. The power. 27 times 5. Ritual Dagger does 265 damage. Let's do it. We might have a kill here. Totally, totally might have a kill here. Yeah, I think we do, actually. Ritual Dagger. Rip Transient. So this dagger scaled up to 63. That was the bottled one, too. Easy. Absolutely easy. Good job, Ink Bottle. 91 gold for the red mask. Unfortunately, we need this money to remove the second normality in Act 4. I'm not going to mess around. Go this way. Got to take the blue key here. Hmm. Only one dagger can scale in this fight anyway. But my face, though. This is why we have to get rid of this normality. There's definitely some turns where it completely shuts us down. Hmm. Bad. And save health by giving up the dagger? I don't really need to do that with Pentagraph. Guess I'll just get the powers in play. What if we Miracle Omni? The normality will stop that from working. It's, uh, it's a really bad move. Omni, 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 Omni. Omni everything. I can't empty mine now, interesting. as much. Right, just take the kill. Glowing Tesseract. Taking damage will bring me below half health for meat on the bone value and offer me some colorless cards that could make a big difference. Metamorphosis, Enlightenment, Blind looks good. Blind looks good. Take a blind. Being able to weaken the heart could help a lot. This is a fine turn one.
So I'm going to do an omniscience chain. Double pray. Scrawl? Eight hundred and six damage ritual dagger. We get a Duvu doll, which gives us two strength, and an Ambrosia. Also, I think I want this third eye because I have double Nirvana. Eight hundred and six damage. <laughs> like what? All right. Well, you're super dead. Actually, maybe I'm super dead. Let's target normality just so I don't die. Double pray, double consecrate. Wait, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. That's still fine. You're still dead. Calipers! Now we can retain block. Here we go. Now we have a plan for blocking heart, too. Liquid Memories is almost as good as these potions. Almost. You need to be upgraded. All right, Donu and Deca are first, and they're dead. Check this out. You too, buddy. Oops. Up here, Omni, Omni. Double prostrate, double dagger. GG, nerd. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread could be felt out the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of this double turn one boss kill deck? The power. $22.99. For three easy payments, you too can have double ritual dagger. Sim Maroon, what is this Watcher deck's favorite side to have with meals? Sacra rice. Delicious. Upgrade what? Scrawl? Scrawl upgrade seems fine. Boo this man. You suffered harm not as much as the bosses just did. Those poor bosses, man. Never did get a second uh, spirit shield. That's fine. I guess. Snackrifice. Normality, you're out of here. See you later. I know we lose a point of strength, but... Not being afraid of the ink bottle anymore seems kind of nice. 
Trollsy, thanks for the seven months in the Prime sub. All right, how do uh, Spire Spear and Spire Shield fare? Did we draw Omniscience turn one? We sure... Actually, we draw them all turn one. Well, that's kind of bad. No, it's still fine. We can still Omni, Omni... Yeah, all we need is one here. Omniscience, Omniscience. Double this, double this. Smell you nerds later. Now I have a Tungsten Rod. Easy. <laughs> Easy peasy. And that that is leveling up this dagger, although only on the first hit of the omniscience, apparently. Easy peasy. Alright, time to fight the corrupt Oh, interesting. We drew Mental Fortress and Nirvana on turn one. Huh. We might be using the Ambrosia turn one. I think I agree with that. We could do a lot of things with Ambrosia turn one. I'm not duplicating the powers. What am I duplicating? I think the answer is we'd like to stack some block and such. We can double spirit shield, double blind, double trip. Those are both pretty good. And then just cap damage with a dagger. Could get rid of some strikes. There's only one strike, I guess. And yes, in that case, Vigilance first. Get a little bit more block if I go Mental Fortress Vigilance. I'd rather try to perfect this fight just for funsies. There's the other dagger. She will probably run out of block. No, we're going to double the spirit shield here, right? Shit, we should have done this in a slightly different order. This is still fine, though. Blind, double trip, double scrawl, double spirit shields. Ow. It's a lot of beating. Talk. Then go back into divinity next turn. Three hundred and sixty damage now. Three fifteen. Ultra Rock. Uh, we want to empty body first. That'll be an extra stance transition for these. Uh, for the mental corpus. Calipers. Don't enter Wrath. That'd be bad. Perfect block. Be divine right now. We're 
Tain 3 block. Shield is gone, right? That's right. I actually don't have very many good blocks left. Which means we need to kill soon. We're probably gonna lose the fairy in a bottle next turn. That's what this looks like. I think we're gonna lose that fairy. Tungsten Rod helps a lot, though. Okay, not quite losing the fairy. We'd like to get heart below 200 health on this turn. That would be really, really good. Well, the Ritual Dagger can do it. Ritual Dagger can do it. Actually, perfect, right? 198. Okay. Get back, prostrate, cut through fate. So we can go divine next turn, hopefully. Good. GG. What excellent news! means we can cross off one of the most difficult to master cards in the whole game. The Ritual Dagger. GG, Twitch chat. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.